What up guys? Good to see you. Welcome to another video in sunny old England. Not so sunny England. Miserable day. I've been trying to film this video for ages but this time of year it's always cold and wet. So today I decided to just go for it and get my feet and my kite all muddy and wet just for you guys because that's the kind of guy I am. Anyway, let's get into it. In this video I'm going to show you three different ways to pack your kite. The fast way, the conventional way and how they do it in the factory to make it super duper small to get in your kite bags. Let's get into it. Go ahead and flip your kite over like normal and undo your dump valves. It's worth undoing both valves if you have two. And then fold the kite in half, placing the wingtips on top of each other and roll in up the wingtip along the leading edge, pushing all the air out of the kite and meeting in the middle like so. And then you can go ahead and fold it in half if you want or fold it in three. And that is the fastest way to pack up your kite. I quite often do this if it's super windy at the beach and it's just easier to fold it in half um, or I'm in a rush. Um, it tends to pack up a little bit bigger than when you do it the conventional way or the factory way, but it is without doubt the fastest way. Next up, the conventional way, the standard way, the normal way, really. Check it out. Flip over your kite like normal and undo both valves. And then you can roll in from the wingtip, keeping the bridles all in the center of the kite, rolling along that leading edge. And then place your board on the kite to stop it unraveling. Make your way to the other end and roll up along the leading edge, keeping all the bridles inside the kite, meeting in the middle, and then folding both rolled ends on top of each other and folding the kite up into three segments like so. So that was the conventional way. Um, some people fold the strut in and roll from the strut. Other people just roll from the end. Doesn't make that much difference. You can get a little bit more air out if you take the time to squeeze the air out each strut before you roll it. It'll make the kite a little bit smaller, um, but it takes a little bit longer. Um, depends how much time you have and how small you wanna make the kite. But that is the most common way. It's the easiest way just to roll it. Um, yeah, I want you to appreciate how much I'm doing this for you guys in the rain right now, risking flying my drone. But I've only got one more to show you and it's my favorite one. So don't miss this one. It's how the factories do it. It's how to fold it super small. Check it out. So, turn the kite over and undo both valves. Now, it's worth taking your time with this one because it's all about getting as much air as possible out of the kite. So take your time pushing the air out of each strut individually. And you want to be folding up the kite by about a hand's width each time. But it doesn't need to be a tight fold, just a loose fold. The most important thing is getting all the air out of each strut. Now, work your way along the kite. As you can see, it's around about a foot widths each fold but again it doesn't need to be really really tight you'll see how tight it all packs up at the end so meet in the middle like so and leave that end there you don't even need to put a board on it and work your way in from the other side really pushing the air out of each strut making sure the bridles are inside the kite making sure all the strut clamps are undone so you can push all the air out and then working your way along the kite, again, keeping those bridles all inside, just slowly taking your time with this one. This one is all about the size, not the speed. You meet in the, oh, my drone has just flown off. Kind of freaked out then. That was pretty funny. My drone ran out of battery uh, mid pack and I was packing and I looked up and it was flying off but it was only flying as far as my van to do the self land. It flies itself home, it reaches a certain level of battery. So it was quite funny. Where were we? Okay, we've met in the middle. Again, squeeze the air out of that middle strap one last time, and then you're gonna fold this end of the kite over the other end, and it's gonna be a big, wide fold. And then you're gonna 
find a little crease from the end and you want to aim to fold this about four times. So this first fold is going to be quite a tight small fold and with each fold you're going to really push all the air out and take a little bit of time. If you actually lie on each one for a couple of minutes it really squeezes all the air out. As you can see it takes a little bit of time but this is the best way to get all the air out and make it as small as possible. And there you have it. As easy as that guys. It's all about squeezing all the air out. Think about folding it into four sections at the end and just spending a little bit of time lying on it. I think I can smell dog poo. So I'm going to go home, edit this video, change my clothes, have a shower. Yeah, but I'm pleased I got it done and I'm stoked I was able to share this with you because it is really good knowledge if you're not sure how to pack your kite. If you like the video, please hit subscribe, like the button, smash the button comment if you want me to make any other tech videos like this as always guys really appreciate it see you in the next one peace out